Lulu Pivazana, congratulations, you are a Grand Slam champion. How does that feel? It feels really amazing. Like, I didn't think coming into this competition I would even win a fight, let alone get gold. So I was not very well in the last week, so I was like, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. And it's been the best day ever. <laughs> this is uh, your first gold medal for Austria, first Grand Slam gold medal for Austria. Yeah. What does it mean to you to finally put your name at the top of a podium for Austria? Oh, it really means a lot to me because Austria's been really supportive for me over the last years. And now to give them a gold medal, I'm really proud of that. Tough fight in the final. <laughs> yeah, at one point I thought, oh, I'm going to get the third Cheeto. And then they gave the Wazari and then they took it off. But this gave me a bit of motivation. I thought, no, I, I like the feeling of winning. So I was like, just dig in, see what happens. What was it like with the crowd? They were all reacting to it? Yeah, well, when I scored, everyone chin, and then I watched it on the screen. I was like, is it Wazari? I'm not sure. Please, please give it. Then they took it off. And then I was like, oh. No, she's going to go on forever. <laughs> uh, what did, yeah, in a moment like that, right, you think you've won, you maybe relax a little bit. How did you get yourself back in the game? Um, as soon as they said that they were looking at it again, I thought, right, just imagine it's taken off now, just continue. So I thought, if they give it, they give it, but the fight continues now. So I didn't try and celebrate too much inside. <laughs> uh, I just saw a moment ago, you having a really nice chat with your opponent, with Kat, like, um, <laughs> Like, that is a really special thing, I think, to you guys just having a really friendly chat after having a pretty epic yeah. fight together. Talk me through why that's important and what your relationship with her is like. Um, well, we fight a lot in training camps, and obviously she speaks English as well, so we've met a lot of times on training camps, and I think she's a really nice person. And she's beaten me three times before, so and always in quite fights like this. So I think she's a really great judo player. I think she's number one in the world just now, and to have her as a friend is really nice. Uh, okay, so this is a really great start to the year. What is? What are your hopes for the year? How are you building up to obviously quite a massive event? What are your? Yeah, talk me through 2024. Well, at the start of this event, it was still to qualify because I was qualified, but near the end of the rankings, and hopefully with the points today, this pushes me up quite a lot. And um, because I missed the first year of qualification because I didn't have the passport. So I'm just trying to get as many points as possible. And I think, yeah, hopefully build on this and make it a recurring, a recurring event. <laughs> and, and yeah. Finally, how are you going to celebrate your gold medal? Um, well, I'm going on a flight home tonight, so that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to have a training camp next week, so probably not so much now, but maybe have a cocktail on the plane. <laughs> a very judo celebration. <laughs> yeah, fun times. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lily. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.